let's just say it was an iconic twist of M. Night Shyamalan proportions. Season 1 of Netflix's Archive 81 has had viewers glued to their screens for eight episodes. And following that cliffhanger, everyone wants to know whether Archive 81 is coming back for a second season. Hey. While Netflix is yet to officially greenlight season 2, it's the perfect time to explore what the hell went down in the season 1 finale. I have Archive 81 follows archivist Dan Turner, Mamoudou Athai, who finds himself embroiled in a mystery when he's hired to restore a collection of VHS tapes from the 90s. Dan watches footage recorded by Melody Pendras, Dina Shahabi, at the Visser building, involving a strange cult, disappearances, sacrifices, and even an alternate dimension. As Dan follows Melody's journey, the pair start to connect in an unexpected way, leading to an unpredictable finale. The DNA company that he shut down. If you've seen all eight episodes of Archive 81's first season, you'll know that the show ends on a major cliffhanger that impacts all of the characters in a life-changing way. Here's what you need to know about Archive 81's season one finale. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Melody's mom, Julia Bennett, is revealed to be a balding witch who can open the portal to the other dimension. Dan enters the other world to find Melody, who has been trapped there since 1994, when Samuel dragged her in after summoning Iris. Once there, the demon Calago attempts to distort reality and manipulate Dan into staying. Dan's family appear to be alive in the other world, with Calago hoping to con Dan into remaining there forever. Why? However, Dan finds Melody and convinces her to leave with him. They follow the sound of the key, produced by Julia, and try to find their way out of the maze that is Calago's lair. Just as they are about to leave, Samuel appears and grabs Melody. He pulls her through an open door and into the light. In the present day, Melody appears from the portal, but she is alone. She's reunited with her mom, but Dan's best friend Mark wants to know where Dan is. The scene cuts to Dan in a hospital bed, where he's been for two weeks. A nurse reveals that he survived a fire and that no one has come to visit him in that time. On the TV, MTV plays, and it's announced that Kurt Cobain has died. Dan stands and looks out of the hospital window, where he sees the Twin Towers. I'm sorry. It turns out Dan has ended up in 1994, effectively switching places with Melody who is now in his present day. The finale ends on this cliffhanger, ensuring that viewers want, no, need, a second season of Archive 81. What does this ending mean? Having switched places, Dan is now in 1994, while Melody is in the present day. Despite having been trapped in the other world for decades, Melody hasn't aged at all. Viewers will likely have so many questions about that. Plus, it's not completely clear what happened to Dan. The nurse suggests that he survived the fire at the Visser building, but it's also possible that he's still trapped in the other world and being tricked into staying there by Calago. Or he could be dead, but hopefully not. 